So in this case, we are going to consider uh, the transistor biasing as you are biasing the transistors. Uh, we have got the fixed bias common emitter amplifier. Okay, so this circuit diagram that we are seeing is of a fixed bias common emitter amplifier, the simple one where we do not have, in this case, if you consider uh, at the emitter, we do not have the resistance that is affecting and also we do not have the capacitor. So this, this is the, the, the basic fixed bias uh, common emitter amplifier that we have, whereby one voltage, which is the input, is now used to bias both the bus and the collector. So we are going to have both the bus and what? And the collector, which is our VBE and our VCE. Remember we are saying this is the common emitter. So the bus is connected common to the what? To the emitter. Uh, then the bus also will be related. I mean, the, this collector will also be taken to the emitter. So that is why we are having our VBE and our VCE in common. We are saying, uh, let's just have this for a fixed, because remember it's fixed bias. So it's only uh, one supply, only one supply is used on a fixed bias, okay? Is used uh, to bias. So this one is used to bias, okay? That is to bias uh, both. So this one is going to affect both the best and the collector, both the best and the collector. So that's why we're having this VBE and VCE, which is, okay, which is the major part that you need. So this circuit will operate as an amplifier, okay, for this circuit to, up, uh, to actually operate as an amplifier. When and only the best emitter is forward biased. So the best emitter must be forward biased and the best collector reverse biased. That is uh, what we are going to have in that case. The collector emitter voltage must always be positive with respect to, to the ground. Okay. So that is the major part. So we have got, okay, let me just uh, have this statement for us to, to take it into consideration. So this circuit that we are seeing here uh, will operate. So it will operate as an amplifier, as an amplifier when and only, okay, take note there. When the best call uh, the best emitter, so the first one is the best emitter. Okay, the best emitter is forward biased. So this one is supposed to be forward biased. And at that moment, the best collector, the best collector is reverse biased. Okay, remember your your N4 guys. Okay, your revision from N4. So you're considering the two things to be applicable. The best emitter supposed to be forward biased, while is the best collector is supposed to be reverse biased at that moment. And the collector emitter, which is our collector emitter, the last one. Okay, so the collector. Uh, that is collector emitter voltage, collector emitter voltage, which is our VCE in that case, okay? That is our VCE. Must always be positive with respect to the ground. This one must always be positive, okay? Must always be positive. I'm just going to write in short, be positive with respect to the ground, okay? With respect to the ground, with respect to the ground. So that is with respect to the ground. So that is the idea, with respect to, to the ground. When 
that is happening, the biasing of the amplifier will also depend on the current, which is our current gain of the transistor. Okay? This fixed bias, the uh, common emitter amplifier, it also depends on the current gain. So it's another part that you're supposed to uh, take note. So the biasing, that is uh, the biasing of the amplifier, uh, the biasing of the amplifier will also depend. So this one will also depend on the current gain, on the current gain. Remember your current gain from transistors, that is your beta, okay? That is your, your beta, in that case, the beta of the transistor. So the current gain of what? Of the transistor. Okay, read this, guys, from your from your N4. Uh, it's just a continuation that is happening on this part. So that is our fixed bias common emitter amplifier. So on this amplifier that we are having, we are supposed to have calculations to be considered. Okay, so let us just have our calculations, which are important for us to take note into consideration. They will need you to calculate, which you are also given these formulas from your formula sheet. These formulas are given. One, remember your gain, which is your current gain, our beta is equal to collector current over the base current. So this is collector current over the base current. So this can be written as IC is equal to, if you cross multiply this, it is going to be uh, beta times what? Times the base current, where we are talking of the collector current in that case. Okay, so this is, your collector current, that's your collector current. Remember your beta, that is your current gain. So this is your beta, which is your current uh, gain. Then we have talk of what? The best current. So this uh, simply denotes B, best current, C, collector current, uh, just like that. We can calculate also, uh, from these calculations, uh, sorry for that, we can also do calculate RC, which is the resistance that we have for the collector. Okay, that is our collector resistance, RC. We can also calculate RB, these resistance, they can be obtained. So RC, representing our collector resistance, is going to be the the voltages divided by current. So there we are going to, remember if you calculate resistance, guys, you need voltage and what? And current, voltage and current. So what is the voltage affecting according to this? We have got VCC uh, in this channel. We have got VCE like this. So this is our channel that is affecting what? The part where RC is. So it's going to be the difference VCC minus VCE divided by the current flowing, which is IC. The current affecting what? RC is IC. So the difference VCC minus VCE. Because you also have a voltage drop there. So that is VCC minus VCE over the current uh, that is affecting what? The collector. So that is our collector uh, resistance. Okay. So you're given these formulas, guys, like I said. You are given these formulas in your formula sheet. So you're not supposed to worry that much. You just need to know what exactly are you working with when you are given this uh, fixed bias common emitter amplifier in, in your basic calculation. Also, RB can be affected or can be calculated from the same concept that this time it is going to be uh, this way. Check note where RB is. So it is going to be VCC. Remember, VCC is a common point. It's affecting these two. So it's a common point with what? With RB. So it's the same as the VCC that we are seeing. It is like we have it here. So it's going to be VCC minus what this time? VBE. We're going to have these two divided by the current affected by 
RB, which is IB. So that is the difference between VCC and VBE this time. So we're going to have this as VCC minus uh, VBE over IB, which is the one that we are using for the best resistor. Okay. So like I said, these formulas you'll be given in your formula sheet. So you just need to, okay, like the question, what is it about? Uh, what can I calculate first in order to calculate whatever that I'm given there? They can be questions of that nature. So this is your fixed. You're going to see another part of this uh, fixed uh, bias common emitter amplifier when it now has the effect of the resistor at the, at the emitter here. For this emitter, they will be having a resistor and also you'll be having a bypass uh, capacitor there at the emitter. Still on the fixed bias common, uh, common emitter amplifier. So you're going to see uh, that one on another class. Also, you're going to see or a voltage divider when it is now considered as a voltage divider, uh, which are some of your basics from your info. You can just uh, cover up from your info so that you can understand what is happening in this, uh, in this part. All right. So with this second diagram, we are now given a question that we are going to consider here that is uh, considering the information that we just had now. You are given the following data for the, uh, for the fixed bias amplifier in fig 1.2 are given. All right, so the fig 1.2, we're gonna take this as our fig 1.2, which is this diagram that we are seeing here. All right, so let me just remove this. So you are given that this information that we have is for this, uh, fixed him. Uh, bias common air, common M that you are seeing here. So that is we already given a fixed bias amplifier, which is what having a common what common emitter. All right, so it's connected there. So we are given the values VCC. Everything is given there. Uh, VCC, the current gain, I see, uh, VCE, and we are asked to use above information and calculate the resistive values of the best resistor. So we need the value of the best resistor and the collector resistor. And the collector resistor use is made, uh, use is made of a silicon resistor and VBE may be used as 0 0.7 volt. So they are saying we can take our VBE to be equal to 0 0.7 volts. Calculate RB and RC. Okay, we saw this from our formulas. So we're just going to have uh, these formulas, guys. RB, we saw how to calculate our RB and also our RC. Like I said, you're also given these formulas in your, in your formula sheet. So you just need to know, okay, which one is it that I'm going to consider? Because we are going to also consider another part. We are going to also consider another one where it has... Um, uh, the resistance at the, at the emitter and the capacitor. So you must be able to know which one. So in this case, if you check, this will be your formula sheet. So if you check here in your formula sheet, you are given uh, from the beta, our current gain IC over IB, uh, this part of RC, RC, which is VCC minus VCE over IC. And also RB is given as VCC minus VB over, over IB. You're given that, but Take note, you also have these formulas again. If you just check a little bit down here, they are now giving us these other formulas where we've got RC is equal to VCC minus V, uh, VCE minus VE. For the same RC, for the same RB, so you must be careful which one are you supposed to use. This one is not applicable for us, this one. This one will be applicable when that resistance is there at the at the call at the at the emitter. In this case, we do not have the resistance at the emitter. This is just a, a normal uh fixed bias common emitter. So we are back to these ones that we are used to the RC and this RB, and also do not forget your current gain. So you have to be careful now in exam. You have your formula sheet, but which one are you supposed to, to use? That is now when you understand that in this case, we do not have these resistances. Remember, uh, sorry, these resistances are the ones which gives us those VCE. If if there was here, if there was a resistor here, 
RE. Then we expect that VE is there. Uh, if there's a capacitor there that we have, then we expect that we're going to be talking of CE. But there is nothing like that. Also, that other part of the voltage divider, when there is a resistor here, then we think of the voltage divider. But in this case, we are back to the simple calculations. We do not have all that. Okay? So let's start with RB. So we saw that from our formulas, uh, RB can be calculated. Uh, I'm just going to write this as 1. RB is equal to, say, VCC minus VBE. So it's VCC minus VBE over. We are talking of RB. So the current is supposed to be IB. VCC. Let's check we have it. Uh, VCC is there. VBE we are given, but IB we are not given. We are not having this current. Where are we going to have the current? Remember, from our beta, the current gain, it states that uh, the beta, our current gain, it states that it is equal to IC over IB as we are given from our formula sheet. But this can be given uh, in any other way. Uh, they can give you as IC is equal to beta times IB, depending on the textbook that you are using. But it's still one of the same thing. You can manipulate to find whatever that you want, which is IB. Since the current gain is there and also IC is given, these two, we have them. So let's make IB the subject. Just going to cross multiply. That's beta. IB is equal to IC. To find IB, you're going to divide by what? Divide by beta divide by beta. So that was going to give us uh, the current IB at the, at the base, which is our base current. So IB, our base current from IC over beta, we're just going to substitute IC, that is 10 milliamps, 10 milliamps times 10 to the exponent of negative 3. Divided to what? To our beta. Our beta is given as 100. So that was it, guys. We're going to divide so this was going to give you something like uh, 0, 0,0001. This is what you're going to have, guys, amps. If you want to convert to the micro amps, remember micro means times 10 to the exponent of negative 6. That is what it means. So to convert to micro amps, this one, you can multiply by 10 to the exponent of 6, the opposite of that, the opposite of 10 to the x, like the inverse of that. 10 to the exponent of negative 6. It will give you the answer direct in what? In micro amps. So the answer that you're going to get after that, it was going to be 100. If you multiply this by 10 to the exponent of 6, you get 100. That answer is directly in micro amps. Or oh, just multiply by 1 million, guys. Remember that concept of your, your conversions from your N3. You've been doing this in science. Uh, in engineering science, N2, we've been talking about this. You can convert. You can even leave it like that. No problem. We are not worried about that. Leave it like that as it is. Then substitute here to obtain your best uh, resistor. So our best resistor, VCC, as I said, we have got our VCC, that is 10, minus VBE. We are given that VBE is what? 0, 0,7. Everything over IB, which is our best current, the one that we just calculated here. Uh, remember all this part, you're calculating what? Uh, the best current, and we got this as 100 microamps or 0, 0,0001 as it is from your calculations as you obtained it from your calculations. You are going to write it like that. Or as this 100 uh, times 10 to the exponent of negative 6, if you want to write micro in micro uh, amperes. That is, it can be, it can be like that. It's your conversion. It's up to you. So this was going to give us the value of RB, which is 93,000. So you're going to obtain uh, 93,000 ohms, which can be written as 93 kilo ohms. 1,000, just divide by 1,000. That is going to give us 93 uh, kilo ohms. That's the idea. There. You have got what? Your RB. So the formulas are there. What I have to consider. So like I said, we're going to see another part, which is a little bit different, where they will be now, uh, we saw the formulas there. That it can, it can be written in another way when there is uh, the emitter resistor. In this case, it's not given. What about RC on number two? We saw that RC from this formula is going to be, again, VCC, but subtracting what VCE, the path where uh, this is it's the path of VCE, then we divide by IC, the current 
that is affecting there. So you divide by IC. So in this case, everything is given uh, from these values. We are given everything. Uh, the VCC is 10. The VCE is 5. So this is 10 minus 5. So our RSC was going to be 10. Just going to substitute. You've got everything there. 10 minus 5 over IC. The collector current is also given, which is 10 milliamps. So that is 10 milliamps times 10 to the exponent of minus 3. That is milliamps. So that was going to give us uh, 500 ohms in that case. So we've got our collector resistance. So this is what you're supposed to expect in your calculations as you are to consider uh, the biasing uh, or the fixed bias of a common uh, emitter amplifier. This is the basic one. We're going to talk about another one where uh, there is now a resistance in the emitter. So that will be for our next class. So make sure that you tune in for that class till we meet again.